This week we're going to have ourselves an unveiling project. I'm going to show you what I am currently working on and it is right there underneath the silver sheet. Curious yet? Well, I'm Amy Astro, stay tuned and welcome to my channel. I've actually got clear skies here and I've had clear skies for a few nights now so I have been using this time to get all of my gear up and running and calibrated so when we have a new moon weekend which I'm hoping is coming soon pretty sure it's coming soon I will be able to get up and running but in this video I wanted to show you guys what my current project is and what's hiding underneath this tarp so, are you ready? Let's do an unveiling. So you can see I like to do uh, double tarpings and these work great. You can pick them up at Walmart for a dollar, usually after season. It's the tablecloths that have that little felt lining on the underside. But I know these are waterproof. So I'm really keeping the suspense going, aren't I? I have another towel on top for protecting. Are you ready? Get set. Dun, dun, dun. It is a Celestron C11 Vintage 2002. And this is what I have been working on. It is going to be my planet setup. So let's get a quick tour of what everything is, okay? All right, so we've got our Celestron C11. It's an 11 inch. It's a, a, a Schmidt Cassegrain. Got the dew strap across the front here. And I also have a dew shield that I put on at night. But what I've got underneath here that's powering everything up, taking care of my USB distribution, and it's also controlling my focusing motor, is the Pegasus Astro Ultimate Power Box version two. Works great and I have it strapped here to the underside of the bar. I'm connecting it with double-sided Velcro um, tape so I can take it on and off as I want. But added security, I have added a zip tie. You know, we buy these things in bulk. Definitely need these, all right? Now, this guy is a very heavy beast. So he is on my Skywatcher EQ6R. And what you can't tell here, it's just out of frame, is my counterweights are all the way down to the bottom. This is a heavy setup and it's probably the maximum setup that I can get on here. And it's really, it's about the maximum weight that I can possibly lift. All right, so here is the business end of the telescope. I have my Moonlight Stepper Motor Autofocuser. And on the back here, I have a 2X Barlow along with an ADC um, automat uh, astron. Let's get this word right here. Atmospheres disbursement corrector. Um, so the ADC. And what I've got on here right now is my step one for trying to align things. I just have a little uh, diagonal, and I've got a Celestron. Uh, eyepiece here and I know it's kind of odd that I would have an eyepiece on here but trying to get this guy aimed on target is really difficult the field of view is extremely narrow so having the eyepiece helps me get things on target and then I exchanged everything out I remove the diagonal and I pop my camera on the back and then I go through sharp cap and I can get going um, what I have noticed here is you know what, I don't really have any images out of this yet. Why? Because I'm struggling with focus. A lot of this has to do with the weather that I've had lately. I've had a lot of clouds to deal with, a lot of moisture in the sky, but now that we're moving over into fall, it's actually a very nice, crisp, cool day, and the skies are just crazy blue right now. 
And I'm hoping they stick around till tonight, even though the weatherman said I wasn't supposed to have blue skies today. So for once, I'm hoping his error works in my favor. Let's see, background noise uh, compliments of the Columbia County Finest. So now if I don't have dogs barking, lawnmowers going, chickens going, birds going, uh, now we have sirens in the background. Yes, I'm in a very busy location. Alright, so now that all that noise is passed, what I've got here is the camera that I'm using for Planetary. It is the Altair Astro One Shot Color. It is a 385C. It's their GP Cam 3. It's a USB 3. Lots of 3's there. And when I remove the diagonal, let's go ahead and remove him right now. Once I'm on target and I've got everything going, I just take the camera, pop it in the end, tighten the screws, and I'm good to go. Now I've got two methods for running the Skywatcher mount, you know, when I've got things going here. What I have done is I've gone back to the hand controller. That makes things really easy right now. I can do a three star alignment and it will pop me right on Mars every time, which is great. Um, well, it, I say that, it pops me in the nearest vicinity of Mars, and Mars might be right here, and it pops me right here, and um, I still have to hunt for it just a little bit. Or, when I feel like hooking up EQ Mod and going to the full setup run, I still have my game controller, which makes things fun, and I can actually get the kids outside to join me, because all of a sudden, space, video game, perfect. But on this setup, I decided not to mount a scope PC. What it's come down to is I have too many PCs. I know it's hard to believe, can anybody have too many PCs? But I have too many PCs. And it was getting to be a lot to keep up with. So I still have my two rigs set up, ready to go um, with their PCs. But I decided to have a floating PC that anytime I get a different setup, all I have to do is I just set this underneath the tripod and wire it up and really all I need is the one USB cable which will come from the Pegasus Astro um, power box and then I just need to add power to it which I get from underneath the scope anyways so I'm just adding an extra cable off of the mount which really isn't that bad but it's nice having one PC that's already set up has all my software loaded and I can just bounce it from place to place you know whichever scope I decide to throw onto this particular mount which works great now this guy is one of my new favorite little PCs he's very lightweight he is taller than all the others that I have gotten but the footprint is still about the same all right so what's great about this PC is it comes with two USB 2 ports two USB 3 ports a USB C port two HDMI's, an Ethernet, and 12 volt power, okay? So this guy powers off the of 12 volts, which is what pretty much everything else out here powers off on, and it's, it's great. And what I have noticed is the internal um, antenna for this, for the Wi-Fi range, is great. I can get from my fence when I'm down there all the way into the living room over here on the other side here without any hiccups. Keeping connectivity is great, but what this PC has that none of my other ones have, it has an internal 128 gig SSD card. Um, I believe it's four gigs of RAM. Uh, it comes with Windows 10 Pro, which I don't really need the Pro because I'm still remoting into this, and it's great. It was able to keep up with video capture from this camera without having any drops of frame. So that's really great. Where my other PCs don't really quite have the power to handle video capture. So I can say this BMAX, pretty damn good.